Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Siren. Like I said last time, we're about at the halfway point of this game, so we're now in the second half of the LP. And last time, we did have a tragic mission in which we lost one of our playable characters, Reiko, uh, though Harumi did run off on her own. But we're not continuing on with her. We probably won't see her again for a while. The save file says that we're going back to Kiyoya, but that's not the case. That mission that it's uh, pointing at, day two, one o'clock, we've already done that one. That was when we had to escape the house. That one does have a second objective, but it's not available yet. So we're going to go to something else. We're going to go back to one of the first missions that we did in this LP, actually. Actually, I shouldn't say one of the first. This was pretty early on, though. This is Kay's second mission. The description is that Makino makes his escape with Tomoko in tow, but they're baffled by the red water. They see figures heading out to sea, and the sounds of the sirens fills Kay with utter despair. So this was the one where Kay had to escort Tomoko, and you remember how that ends with a sniper shooting at them, they get separated, Kay leaves, Tomoko runs off somewhere. We saw where Tomoko ended up, because we did a mission with her that took place after this, but there is a second objective that we need to do. There is something that we need to find in this level. But first, we'll just look at this scene again. <laughs> Kay and Tomoko have met up. They've reached the edge of the village. They're going to try to escape. But they're going to find out something very unpleasant. Something that a few characters have found out at this point, And that is, there is no outside of the village anymore. Just disappearing. Of course, when Akira saw this, you saw what his reaction was. He shot himself out of despair because he realized there was no way out. And he tried to shoot himself to kill himself so he would not become a monster. He did not know that that's not how it works. Kay and Tomoko here are not going to shoot themselves. They still have some hope, but they don't know what to do. What kind of animal? What is going to happen to us? They don't know. And we don't know. Really, how do you escape a place of which there is no escape from? If you've reached the border and all there is is an endless crimson ocean... How do you get out of here? We don't know about that, but what we do know is right now, we have to find an item that was dropped by Tomoko, and then reach the road to Hirasakai. So this one... What are you waiting for? Well, Tomoko, we first have to figure out what this item is that you dropped. And this one actually is kind of tough to figure out, so we are going to have to go back to the hints. Now, the hint that we're looking at... I'm just going to pull this up here, point it out. It is day one at the, yeah, there we go. It's around 12 o'clock. It says, after sudden parting, the man at the shrine knows. So that's the clue that we have. What do you suppose that means? Well, this is actually kind of an important clue because we could spend some time looking all over this level, trying to find something that Tomoko dropped. Um, but the clue does tell us that it is after a sudden parting. And if you remember how this level ends, with uh, Tomoko and Kei being parted, well, we know when that sudden, par sudden parting is. So, we don't have to bother with trying to find something right now. Let's just get to the end of the level and see what we can do after that. So, we are not going to wait around, Tomoko. We are just going to run off. We're going to run by these snipers, who are just... They're all over the place. Just run past all of them to the police car that doesn't work. Don't mind the bullets, Tomoko. I think she was shot because she just stopped right there. Tomoko could take a bullet to the head, though. She's fine. Let's take a look at what's going on up here. There is a Shibito who is walking around that house. Okay. So we should be able to get up there without him seeing us, but we're going to want to slow down. Because there's a gardener right here. Don't want her to hear us. Let's walk around the house. Behind where the Shibito is walking. Tomoko is right behind Kay. We're doing alright. Just gonna speed up to the end of this level. We're almost there, actually. Alright, yeah, there's the guy who's walking around. There he goes. Once we get a little bit of distance, let's go running. Uh. 
as we saw last time, not all characters are able to pull themselves up such a high distance. And Tomoko is one of those characters. Alright, so... Okay, yeah. There's someone who is working on the house down there, on the shrine, which is where Tomoko ends up hiding out. So, we don't have to hit that thing with a rock this time, because we already accomplished that mission, that second objective. Well, all we have to do right now is just wait, because this guy is going to turn around at some point, yeah. Just want to make sure that he turns back, and then we're going to, yeah, we're going to drop down. Just going to walk on by this carpenter. So we saw that Tomoko ran off to the shrine after she was separated from Kay. And she was there for a number of hours. She was there all day before she ended up leaving. Where she went after that, we don't know. But we can't be concerned with that right now. All we're concerned about is what did she drop? And I could probably start running at this point. Yeah, here we go. And there's one more sniper off to the side, so we're just going to take it slow. Don't want him to turn around too early. And we'll turn around to pull Tomoko up. But unfortunately, we will not be able to pull her up. Because bullets... Okay, so I'm gonna have to just back off a little bit so this guy doesn't shoot me, and then we're gonna have to start sightjacking. So, something that I've mentioned, like back at the beginning of the LP, I think, is that the game expects you to spend some time sightjacking the Shibito and figuring out their routines to see what it is that they do, where they go, and what you can expect from them. So if you did that in this level, and then you started sightjacking around now, you might see something that you haven't seen someone doing here, and it's this guy. There's a guy who's walking around the place that we just went through to get to the exit. He was not doing that before. And you'd only really notice that if you spent some time sightjacking around taking a look at these Shibito's routines, what they're doing, where they're going. And if you sightjack this one, you might notice that, hey, I didn't, I didn't see a Shibito walking this way before. This is different. And it is different, because now there's a Shibito who's walking away from where we were, where Kei and Tomoko got separated. He's walking back from that direction, back to the shrine. So, after a sudden separation, the man at the shrine knows, and this would be the man at the shrine, he is walking to that locked room in the back. We haven't been able to unlock that because we don't know the combination. But the man at the shrine knows. 5133. Three. That can change, by the way. That can be different. All right, and he's putting something in a bucket. So it looks like when Tomoko ran away, she dropped something. And this Shibito picked it up and is storing it away. And he is going to put that lock back on. Let's just remember, 5133. Three. Because if we forgot that, I mean, we're out of luck. You have to be sightjacking this Shibito at that particular point in time so you can see the combination. And he is just going to stand here keeping guard. Well, all right. If that's the case, right, that sniper's not looking at me anymore. So I'm going to head back. So that's what, what I mean when... Oh, he's going to turn around. Let's just run away. All right. That's what I mean when I say that this one's a pretty tricky one to figure out. 
because the item does not actually appear in the level before you get to that one's cutscene, and then you have to sight jack that one particular Shibito and see the combination through his eyes. All right, that's the guy. He's keeping guard, and there's also a carpenter hammer, hammering away, so I'm just going to sneak by, sneak around the other side of this shrine so they don't notice me. We're going to head to that locked door and see what it was that Tomoko dropped that this Shibito picked up. And like I said, that combination does change, so you can't just open that door beforehand. It can be completely different. I think I can stand up at this point. Just being cautious because Kay, of course, does not have any weapons. Which makes his levels trickier than others. Alright, let's unlock this thing. Five, one, three, three. There we go. And we found her student ID. Student IDs, of course, are very important, as we have noticed in this game. This is the third one we found. We found Kiyoya's, we found Yoriko's, and now we have found Tomoko's. Makers of this game have some weird thing about student IDs. I don't know why they're, why they're so important, but we keep finding them. We're going to look at hers. Right? Hanada High School. We have not seen Hanada High School. We've only seen the elementary school, but apparently the village is a bit larger than it might have seemed. Um, also, some blinking entries here. Oh, right, right. Because I died in the last level with Reiko, it did not. Uh, it did not record that I had looked at these archive items before. But we had already seen these. We already know about the mightiness of the alien god. How could we forget about that? Yeah, I think we're caught up on our archive items. All right, so that's what we needed to find. And again, that clue. That clue that we saw, it's pretty important uh, to know that you have to do this after the sudden separation. Though what it is that you have to do after the sudden separation is going to be pretty tricky to, find, to figure out. Unless you happen to notice that one of the Shibito walking around is walking in a different pattern than he was before. So that's the only thing that you could really notice that would be different. I haven't really been doing a whole lot of that. Like the idea of spending time uh, sightjacking Shibito to memorize their patterns and locations. But you're supposed to. That's what you spend a lot of time doing in Siren, your first time through. Um, you know, this is not my first time through, of course. That's right. So I haven't had to actually do that. I've just been able to sort of rush through these levels. But you're supposed to take your time, you're supposed to be methodical. And if you are, then you'll notice, hey, that one Shibito, he was not walking in that way before. That's different. And then you follow his, you follow him, you sight check him. And you find what you're looking for. And we are just going to walk on out of here. Mission 2 accomplished. We found the student ID. Don't know if that blood was Tomoko's. She did not look like she was hurt when we saw her again. Maybe it was someone else's blood. Or maybe it was just red water. But let's go on. Day 1, 21 o'clock. Later in the day, after the mission with Tomoko that we had played. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm so happy that you're safe. Your mother and father are okay as well. Really? <laughs> so Tomoko ran into Akira's corpse. It looks like that the body was laying there for kind of a while before it got back up as a shibito. Uh, and Tomoko ran into Hisako, who we have not seen a whole lot of in the game, actually. Um, we had previously seen that Tomoko's parents had rushed into the church. And again, this was way back. This was a while back. So if you've forgotten about it, it this was not recent. We saw Tomoko's parents rush into the church, asking Hisako if Tomoko was there. Uh, she was not. But now Tomoko has run into Hisako, and it looks like she's going to take Tomoko back to the church and her parents. And that's the end of that particular line, so we're going to go on to the next loop. And next time, I believe what we're going to do next time is I believe that we have a secondary objective to do with Tamin um, in the level where we have to fight Akira. I believe that there is a secondary objective there that we can do, and that's probably what we're going to be doing next time. Tamin and Akira, uh, at least Akira has appeared to recognize Tamin in that level after he was shot down. Uh, so we're going to go back to that level and see if there's anything else we can do there. I'll see you next time for that.